प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फार्मा केमिकल डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी Shelf life is the length of time that a commodity may be stored without becoming unfit for use, consumption, or sale. In other words, it might refer to whether a commodity should no longer be on a pantry shelf, unfit for use, or just no longer on a supermarket shelf, unfit for sale, but not yet unfit for use. It applies to cosmetics, foods and beverages, medical devices, medicines, explosives, pharmaceutical drugs, chemicals, tires, batteries, and many other perishable items. In some regions, an advisory best before, mandatory use by, or freshness date is required on packaged perishable foods. Shelf life is the recommended maximum time for which products are fresh, harvested, produced can be stored, during which the defined quality of a specified proportion of the goods remains acceptable under expected or specified conditions of distribution, storage and display. Most expiration dates are used as guidelines based on normal and expected handling and exposure to temperature. Use prior to the expiration date does not guarantee the safety of a food or drug, and a product is not necessarily dangerous or ineffective after the expiration date. According to the USDA, canned foods are safe indefinitely as long as they are not exposed to freezing temperatures, or temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit .2 degrees C. If the cans look okay, they are safe to use. Discard cans that are dented, rusted, or swollen. High acid canned foods, tomatoes, fruits, will keep their best quality for 12 to 18 months. Low acid canned foods, meats, vegetables, for 2 to 5 years. 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius. Sell by date is a less ambiguous term for what is often referred to as an expiration date. Most food is still edible after the expiration date. A product that has passed its shelf life might still be safe, but quality is no longer guaranteed. In most food stores, waste is minimized by using stock rotation, which involves moving products with the earliest sell by date from the warehouse to the sales area, and then to the front of the shelf, so that most shoppers will pick them up first, and thus they are likely to be sold before the end of their shelf life. This is important, as consumers enjoy fresher goods, and furthermore some stores can be fined for selling out-of-date products. Most if not all would have to mark such products down as wasted, resulting in a financial loss. Shelf life depends on the degradation mechanism of the specific product. Most can be influenced by several factors, exposure to light, heat, moisture, transmission of gases, mechanical stresses, and contamination by things such as microorganisms. Product quality is often mathematically modeled around a parameter, concentration of a chemical compound, a microbiological index, or moisture content. For some foods, health issues are important in determining shelf life. Bacterial contaminants are ubiquitous, and foods left unused too long will often be contaminated by substantial amounts of bacterial colonies and become dangerous to eat, leading to food poisoning. However, Shelf life alone is not an accurate indicator of how long the food can safely be stored. For example, pasteurized milk can remain fresh for five days after its sell-by date if it is refrigerated properly. In contrast, if milk already has harmful bacteria, the use by dates become irrelevant. The expiration date of pharmaceuticals specifies the date the manufacturer guarantees the full potency and safety of a drug. Most medications continue to be effective and safe for a time after the expiration date. A rare exception is a case of renal tubular acidosis purportedly caused by expired tetracycline. A study conducted by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration covered over 100 drugs, prescription and over-the-counter. The study showed that about 90% of them were safe and effective as long as 15 years past their expiration dates. Joel Davis a former FDA expiration date compliance chief, said that with a handful of exceptions, notably nitroglycerin, 
insulin and some liquid antibiotics, most expired drugs are probably effective. Shelf life is not significantly studied during drug development, and drug manufacturers have economic and liability incentives to specify shorter shelf lives so that consumers are encouraged to discard and repurchase products. One major exception is the Shelf Life Extension Program slip of the U.S. Department of Defense DOD, which commissioned a major study of drug efficacy from the FDA starting in the mid-1980s. One criticism is that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA refused to issue guidelines based on slip research for normal marketing of pharmaceuticals even though the FDA performed the study. The SLIP and FDA signed a memorandum that scientific data could not be shared with the public, public health departments, other government agencies, and drug manufacturers. State and local programs are not permitted to participate. The failure to share data has caused foreign governments to refuse donations of expired medications. One exception occurred during the 2010 swine flu epidemic when the FDA authorized expire to my flu based on slip data. The slip discovered that drugs such as Cipro remained effective nine years after their shelf life, and, as a cost-saving measure, the U.S. military routinely uses a wide range of slip-tested products past their official shelf life if drugs have been stored properly. Preservatives and antioxidants may be incorporated into some food and drug products to extend their shelf life. Some companies use induction sealing and vacuum slash oxygen barrier pouches to assist in the extension of the shelf life of their products where oxygen causes the loss. Barrier packaging can often help control or extend shelf life. When moisture content is a mechanism for product degradation, Packaging with a low moisture vapor transmission rate and the use of desiccants help keep the moisture in the package within acceptable limits. When oxidation is the primary concern, packaging with a low oxygen transmission rate and the use of oxygen absorbers can help extend the shelf life. Produce and other products with respiration often require packaging with controlled barrier properties. The use of a modified atmosphere in the package can extend the shelf life for some products. Some active packaging is also available with antibacterial.